which points correspond to the painful area where bladder 23 is if the elbow line is the waist and correspond to d4 so the sacrum will be slightly lower around long six or between long five and long six how do we find it we palpate for ashley points also one of the best points to treat the sacrum is about long 10 is around long 10 but we can also use the mirror how do we use the mirror let's see and consider low back pain not as on the trunk but as on the part of the leg and the thigh and if we project the whole leg onto the arm with the scapula we can see the mirror so low back pain on the sacrum will be treated if we choose the system one direct mirror will be treated on needling small intestine where on the scapula because the pain in this area corresponds to this uh, to the scapula anatomically they are very similar and also if we can see the system too if we decide to need a lung meridian we will need the lung meridian around the shoulder years ago my mom had low back pain in the sacrum area and i came and i said oh mom i will treat you no problem you will feel so good and i came to her according to system two i chose a lung meridian and i made the projection i projected her trunk onto the arm and i said okay sacrum will correspond to the area about lung six or slightly above all ashy points i palpated they were sore i put the needles expecting the mom said okay yes yeah, 60 percent or 80 percent gone what did mom say said oh pretty much the same i said oh how come pretty much the same shouldn't be i moved the needle slightly uh the effect was still the same and i said okay let's needle the lung 10 we can choose the projection i need the lung 10 the same effect nothing and then i thought okay i will change the projection and doing the same system so within the same system i've chosen points on the lung meridian around the shoulder the pain's gone nearly 100 percent so our body reflect to some areas more and some areas less we have to respect this how to choose them ashy points those points on the shoulder were the most main most po painful points in my mother's case so just see look for ashy points okay so let's go further the same is happening here Hen Shao Yang, which is Sun Jiao, will treat all the pains along the meridian. All, all the disturbances, not necessarily pains. And if we think about Sun Jiao, what is Sun Jiao? What does it do? Water. Or triple burner, we say. What does it burn? Water. Water. But kidney is a water element. So they are related. So any pains on the kidney meridian, on the limb, on the trunk, will be compensated by needling sinjiao, which is so beautiful. And the same way sinjiao will be treated by kidney. Some people can ask which meridian to choose. We'll speak about anatomical structure similarities later after we learn the systems or maybe somewhere in between but i want to 
show you two options. If the pain on, is on the kidney meridian, and you see the patient, the patient is, uh, was having a heart problem. So possibly you will choose the system one and you will needle the heart meridian. But if the patient is choppy and has a lot of weight, I would possibly choose system two and needle and gel. This is how we use our general knowledge and TCM knowledge indirectly. Heart will be treated by gallbladder and gallbladder will be treated by heart. Let's think what's the best point in TCM to one of the best points to treat gallbladder headaches. Heart 8 will treat gallbladder because of correspondence system 2 relationships between Yang Ming and Zhu Ying. Large intestine will treat liver and liver will treat large intestine. In the same way, pericardium will treat stomach and stomach will treat pericardium. This is so beautiful. Any pains on the stomach meridian, on the trunk, belly pains will be treated by needling pericardium. Pain in the nipple. Interesting, it's so, I meet it quite often. Very funny pains. How do we treat it? Easily. Or burning sensation in the nipple. What do we do? Step number one, thick meridian is definitely stomach because nipple is on the stomach meridian. Step number two, we choose the balancing meridian, which is, for example, pericardium. Large intestine will work as well, but in this case, pericardium. Where on pericardium, Marie? What do we choose? Mirror image? Image. image. Direct image or reverse image? Right. Yes, possibly reverse. We can use direct image. In this case, we will needle points around pericardium 2, which is not very convenient. But if we reverse the arm, that will be the point around pericardium 4. So we look for ashy point. And if we use the system 1, so stomach will be treated by needling large intestine. So which points do we choose? The points between large intestine 7 and large intestine 8, if we use the reverse image. Correct? Brilliant. Okay, guys, we learned so far system 1 and system 2. You can recognize the famous prenatal bagua, or we call it pusigua. System 1 came directly from pusigua. But later, two physicians or two wise people, Zhou Zhou Yu and Zhang Sheng Shu, they reconsidered the distribution of the meridians and they written Fu Sigua in a different way. First, let's see the Fu Sigua in the tra traditional way, but not in the flat form, but in a circular form. So let's see and rewrite it in a slightly different way, the same for sigua. Let's see which meridian will go to the top. The young of the young is heaven, yes? So we'll put heaven on the top. Don't forget that all the yao in gua, we write from the bottom to the top. What about the yin of the yin? It's on the bottom. So, earth will go to the bottom. This is heaven. And this is earth. When we write Fu Sigua in a circular form, 
we presume that the person, the center, is in the middle. So the bottom is here. So this is the bottom. And now see which element goes after the heaven. That will be lake. Which element follows lake? The fire. Which element follows fire? A thunder. Okay, we've done the left side. And then we see which element goes from the earth to the left. That will be mountain. So we write the mountain after the earth. This is the bottom. This is the bottom. The Tu Yao is the bottom because center is in between, is in the middle. What goes next after the mountain? The water. And which element goes after the water? The wind. Let's write them down. <laughs> 